If you have a website, you probably want to know where your visitors are coming from. Which marketing campaigns perform the best? That's where acquisition reports of Google Analytics 4 become very useful. However, some things are confusing there, and in this video, I will explain all of that. Also, at the end of this video, I will share three tips that will help you work with these reports faster. Once you log into your Google Analytics 4 property, go to Reports, and then go to Acquisition. Then you can look at User Acquisition and then Add Traffic Acquisition Reports. First, let's take a quick look at the overview. Here you will see things like the number of users. Also, you will see your top performing traffic sources. If you have connected Google Ads to Google Analytics, then you will see some data related to those campaigns. Also, if you have connected Google Search Console, then there will be several additional widgets right here. But honestly, there isn't much that you can do here. So usually I find myself working with user acquisition or most often the traffic acquisition report. So if you go to user acquisition, here you will see the table with more details. And by default, the dimension here is the first user default channel grouping. In fact, if you click right here, you will notice that all dimensions start with first user. It means that these are traffic sources that brought your visitors to the website for the first time. Even if the visitor who came first from organic search later came to your website from an email marketing campaign, that second email marketing session will still be attributed to the organic search because that is the first user default channel grouping. If you want to see more granular view, for example, what were the top source mediums, then you can switch by clicking, for example, somewhere right here, like first user source medium. You can click it and then you can see sources and mediums. And if you also want to see the campaigns of these sources and mediums, then you can click the plus to add a secondary dimension and then go to traffic source, first user campaign. You are free to mix any first user dimension with another first user dimension. And then the numbers will make sense in your reports. You can go with first user campaign, first user manual ad content, but this time let's go with the campaign. And then we will see that we have, for example, Google CPC, which is a paid ad. And this is the campaign that drove that visitor for the first time to our website. However, keep in mind that when I say first time, then in this case, it relies on cookies. So if the visitor changes the device and then goes to your website again, that visitor will be treated as a new user by Google Analytics 4, at least in most cases. Now let's remove the first user campaign just to make this report a bit more easy to read. And then you will see some additional metrics. So usually what people are looking at when they check the acquisition reports are the conversions. So here you can see your top performing first user source mediums, and then you can see how many conversions you got from each traffic source. But actually in this case, keep in mind that this is the first user source medium. If you want to narrow down to a particular conversion event, for example, just purchase, you can click it right here, and then you will see how many purchases did you get from particular traffic sources that acquired your user for the first time. If you care about each individual session, so for example, if the second session was the email marketing session, then you want to check the traffic acquisition report. You can click right here. And now the dimensions start with session, not first user, but session. And by default, it is session default channel grouping. So if a visitor for the first time lands on your website from organic search, that will be displayed right here. If the second session comes from another traffic source, then that another session will be included somewhere right here, for example. And then you can do the same thing. You can see how many users you got from each traffic source, then how many of those sessions were engaged and some other metrics, and also, once again, conversions. You can click right here to narrow down, let's say, just to a purchase. Of course, you need to send the purchase data to Google Analytics 4 because it doesn't automatically track that by default. So once you start sending that information, then Google Analytics will be able to show you your traffic sources and how many purchases did you get from each traffic source. So if I click purchase, I can see how many purchases were, for example, from organic search, how many purchases were from referral, then I see how many I got from, let's say, organic social, and so on. If you want to take a look at the source medium, because Universal Analytics users 
usually we're checking that then you can click right here and change to session source medium and now you can see source and medium if you want to add additional dimension you can click right here then traffic source and then look for dimensions that start with session for example session campaign if you're still not sure about the difference between session source medium and for example first user source and medium let me explain that in a bit different way let's say that we have one user and his first session on our website was from google organic and then later that visitor returned to our website from our email newsletter so in total we tracked two sessions of that one user if you take a look at the report where you're using first user source and medium then both sessions will be attributed to google organic and you will see them in your report something like this even though the second session was a different traffic source google analytics first user source and medium does not care about that it checks only the first user source and medium however if you go to traffic acquisition report where you're using dimensions such as session source and medium then you will see two rows in your report one is google organic and it will have one session and then email newsletter will get a second session and then as promised here are several tips that will help you work with acquisition reports faster or more conveniently so first of all what i don't like that much in google analytics 4 is that by default their tables don't fit into a screen so that i could see them all at once so you can actually solve this by reducing the sidebar and then zoom out your browser as much as you need this tip is an obvious one but sometimes people just overlook this and now i can see all the report in one place which is more convenient the second tip is related to explorations right now you're looking at the default reports in the reports section but let's say that you want to dive deeper into this report and you want to quickly have this one in explorations normally you would need to go to explorations create a freeform report and then configure everything by yourself but you can easily recreate the report there by clicking on this edit comparisons and then click explore this will recreate that very same report in your explorations as a freeform report and then if you want you can modify it maybe add some additional dimensions for example here you could add not one but two additional dimensions or three if you want for example i can include session campaign and then let's say session manual term for example and then click import then i can add them by double clicking on them and then i can see the report again the problem remains related to spacing and fitting it all together in a screen but you can partially solve that by reducing or actually hiding those sidebars and then using the zoom feature as well and probably maybe even evaluate some metrics because maybe you don't use all of them so maybe it makes sense to remove some of them just to make the report more readable and if later you want to see those sidebars once again you can just click on them and then they will be expanded and then the third tip is related to these charts right here personally i don't find this one very useful this one is also not the greatest one because i probably would like to see the total numbers of traffic but anyway if you don't find these charts useful or maybe you just want to keep one of them you can customize them by clicking the pencil right here which is customize report obviously you need to have proper permissions in this property to do so and then when you click that pencil you can click these icons right here next to charts to hide them or maybe just leave one of them enabled or if you want you can click here and select the scatter plot although honestly i don't know anyone who would like to use that so usually people leave this one or disable charts completely once you do that then click save save changes to the current report and then click save after that you can click back and that's it now you have customized your report based on your needs and that is how you should use traffic acquisition reports in google analytics 4. remember if you want to know the traffic source of sessions you need to use dimensions that start with the word session if you found this video useful hit the thumbs up button that will help me understand what videos do you like more and what should i create in the future also if you want to learn more about google tag manager or google analytics 4 then consider subscribing to this channel
My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.